Ah, the apocalypse has happened. We're still here. But for how much longer? Welcome back to the post or the first talking at the movies in the Trump era. Why, why could be the last as well? <laughs> why do we all seem like it is the apocalypse? Everything will be fine. You guys are just too melodramatic about everything. Everything you don't follow. America the news. will be whole you again. Don't follow the Listen, news. You don't follow the news. You don't He's know. Black, I'm Asian. You're dyslexic. We're all fucked. <laughs> don't matter what your beliefs are. No matter what your color. What country? You're in. <laughs> anyway, yo, boy, it's been a we skip last week. Everyone fell off the map. For some reason we couldn't sync up and uh, communicate. He's in love, so he don't want to talk to no one. He just wants to play with his cats all the time. Wait, what? What? Yep. what? I'm yep. not in yep. love. Yep. I'm not in love. Yep. I'm not Choose your words I'm... very carefully here, because yeah, it's come yeah, out yeah, on the yeah. internet. I, this is me. <laughs> yeah, public. I, you, you are right. Let me rephrase that. I love everyone. I love everyone. I love you, Mo. I love you, Eddie. Do you love me I love still? you guys. Just after what's just happened. Uh, listen, right? Well, with, listen. Look, I'm not even going to get into it. Well done, Mo. Well done. Let's get into it, man. Talking out the movies, podcast, memory on camera, so try not to pick out your face. Okay. Much. What have you guys been watching? Oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. Eddie Reese. Yeah, it's your boy Simon from Bolly Falls. Mo. So let's get in. Okay. What have you been watching? Have you been watching what? Okay, well, um, I saw the arrivals. Sorry. I saw, I'm not surprised <laughs> anymore, so I'm not, I'm not even going to get it. Yeah, I, I saw, expect it. I, I saw it and it is. The betrayal is It strong. is really good, guys. You have to watch this film. Everything about it. I'm sure you guys have seen the reviews already. It would be nice that we could have done a review <laughs> if we'd all seen it. What would you mean? We could all. Why? You is, asked is me. Is this why he fell off the map that he just wants to do all these little secrets? <laughs> what? Wait, I don't understand, right? You asked me, well, what have you no, seen? No, no, and then you get all take all it personally. It's fine, it's fine. So basically, it's this, fine. Is, this is it, right? Basically, if he shunts us to a Sunday, it means he's doing his Bollywood stuff on Saturday, mm -hmm. and then he goes to the movies on Saturday mm -hmm. evening. Exactly. Uh, let me tell you something, guys. <laughs> I could do my volleyball stuff and I could also watch movies on the same day because I also saw Jack Reacher 2, which is not very good. But I strongly... Um, I, I don't want to go too much into um, Arrival because it's, it's a pretty complex story. It's not an easy watch. It's one of those films that you wouldn't be able to go because you're not that intelligent, right? Oh! Because it really oh. makes you think hard. Oh. I know your attention span is like 4%. Ooh. No, it's not enough. Look, Eddie, I understand. Like, you, you I, I do get okay. it. I'm, I'm trying to, I think, yeah, I'm just trying to be supportive. Mo, on the other hand, who's, who is an intelligent person, right? Uh, I think... But, but, you I have a, but I have a bad taste in movies. I, I was going to also add to that, <laughs> but you have a bad taste in movies. In actual fact, well, you guys will enjoy it if you go watch it three times because that's how you're going to get it, all right? It's incredibly good. It's incredibly fun. Go check this film Does out. Does it make you actually... excited to see uh, Villeneuve's next film, Blade Runner 2? Yeah. Um, look, this guy creates tension incredibly well. Um, you really, truly get the feel of uh, what it would be actually like if, if vessels just appeared all over the globe not do it. I'm not going to go into it, but that sort of feeling and the build up and the music and the tempo and incredibly directing as well. It is just, I'm, I'm looking forward to his next piece of work. I really am after watching this. Uh, didn't, didn't have that many expectations, but it's nice to watch a film that you go watch twice because I saw it twice. Yeah, it was so good. I saw it twice. I went in, saw it, and it was so good that I went again and saw it again. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's high praise to be honest. Yeah, and then Jack Reach is just, uh, I didn't really enjoy it. It's, it's just Wasn't predictable. Was the first? The first one I enjoyed. Pretty much. Yeah, the first one I enjoyed. The second one is just predictable all the way through. You know what's coming. It feels like a, you know those old school, bad 90s films? Bad action films. Uh, yeah. Cheesy. The, the, the sort of of yeah, the, no, not so much as that. It's just the predictability. You know oh, everything that's going to happen all the way through. Yeah. Um, and um, you know, so it's it's a pretty poor film. I don't get out of cinemas that much uh, whilst I'm watching the movie. Mm. Oh, you left? Yeah, I was left a couple of times oh. uh, to to get a drink and stuff, and then came back. 
Mm. Yeah, because I had like, you know those coupons that I get because I complain oh, a lot at you, the cinema. Yeah, the, the ones you hustle <laughs> yeah, so. out of the hard working people behind yeah, the, the counters. Yeah, so I, I complain, I get more drinks by complaining. So I kept on doing that. I kept on their refills. Getting by going to fired. Campers. No, I don't. You don't, you don't get that. No. There's repercussions to what you do. They do not get fired. They get in trouble. May I have another chocolate, please, Eddie? Well, what have you been watching? Is that it? So you only watched like two films in like two weeks? I've been busy. The same day. I have been incredibly busy with work and stuff. You're gonna hate with me, I can't remember anything. Uh, uh, right, so let's see what's been going on. So there's the usual. There was no flash this week because of the, the elections. Elections, yeah. The Legends of Tomorrow. I want to catch up to it. I'm actually feeling like I'm going to give this a go. You so haven't seen this week. I saw the first of this new season. I thought, you know, it's not so bad. I mean, the second, actually, the second episode. Right. When it gets to the Justice Society and I think... Maybe I'll keep going with this, but I haven't bought This it. week's episode was fantastic. Okay. Um, we've got a lot more stuff with Damien Dark. I'm assuming, because obviously not being an Arrow fan, like he plays some big part on the Arrow. He was, yeah. yeah. I don't think he's in this season, but he was in previous, previous season. seasons. And then you've also got the Reverse Flash. That show is turning out... It's weird because you watch it and you still know that it's cheesy and really campy. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. the storyline that they have got is just brilliant. It's in fact, it's probably like when I think of comic books and the comic books that I used to read. This, it's no longer looking like a CW show. It's looking like what you would want a comic book show to be. Okay. Because they're not worried about relationships. They're not worried about who's shagging who, who's in high school, and all that. This, this is like the purest form of comic book shows that they've got on that network. On to that, yeah, okay, okay. All right, I'll, I'll get that. Is this Justice Society still there or they No, 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 it's still it's there. Still so there. one, um, so I won't spoil it for you, but one of the, the the members of the Justice Society has now joined the crew because something happened and they want some, for, some form of vengeance, revenge, oh, okay. whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I would definitely catch up. Okay. It's still like the Prison Break brother, he's still in there and he still plays like a really strange character. But the show is just so much of fun. What about Flash last week? Because we didn't do the thingy last week. What, what actually happened last week? I need to remember. I so know. last week's episode of The Flash, now you're putting me on the spot where I've got to try to remember. Can't remember. Was, the, was it the dinosaur with the kid controlling yes, it? Yes. The, yeah, that yeah. wasn't real. Yes. Yeah, that wasn't a great actually. Yeah, I didn't really like that episode. Yeah, that wasn't a particularly great actually, episode. Too. No, I think that's just more of a holding Thingy was good last week though, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I don't know, if, was there one this week from the No, there wasn't, so there was election. nothing on Wednesday this week yeah. because of the election. So the one last week was really good. They saw the Ghost Rider origin of how he became yes. it and yes. actually had the original yes. Ghost Rider in it. Yes, that is also becoming a very, very good, cool. yes. Um, that's actually in our news, we might as well segue into that news. They're actually saying that it's been so popular and so successful with this new Ghost Rider that they're thinking of maybe doing a spin-off and giving him his own show. Would you be interested, Mo? Do you like this character enough that you'd want to see him do more? See, now this is the problem with this Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Every time they get a popular character, they write them out with the intention of doing a spin-off. That spin-off never happens and those characters never come it's back. Like, yeah, I never understood why they did that with the other two. They just... That, that other show yeah. that was going to happen fell flat, but then they just left them... Yeah, and evil. those two were two of the most popular characters on the so show. So weird. So damn weird. I don't know. I'd like to see some more before I say that this guy could carry a show by mm. himself. Yeah, he needs some sort of... I guess it would just be like him and his brother would be like the little thing. Or maybe... I don't know. I mean, the effects of, of the Ghost Rider stuff, like his, the way his face goes, is really good. You, you actually like it, don't, don't you? Mm. Yeah, every time you bring him up, you get super excited. It's just like, fun. I guess he, he gives a different sort of tone to everything else that's going on. He's like a like, slightly darker, more serious sort of character. Is he the more serious one out of the lot then? Out of this, in this season, yeah. And they actually had the original Ghost Rider in this week as well, which was cool. And it, it was very, it was consistent with the Ghost Rider we've seen in the films, in terms of how. Yeah, he I mean, like any moment now, you're expecting Nicolas Cage just to come on screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably the first Amazon show I've actually gotten into now is uh, the Collection. Ooh, it's what's based the Collection? In the f- does the fifties, I think. Based in olden times, yes. Yeah, but it's basically it's, it's a world that you wouldn't think would be interesting for a film, a drama. But it's uh, basically about, it's set in France, and it's based around fashion designers. And oh, they're yes. Rever- they're rejuvenating, re- after the Second World War, rejuvenating the, um, the fashion industry over there. Is it's this really good. I, I love it. Have we got subtitles on that, or is it just... It's in English. Oh, right. It's in okay. English. 
with mainly English actors, but it's yeah, everyone's kind of best friend. Tend to be French, but yeah, yeah, I actually really enjoy it. Oh, okay. And that's one of their own ones, or yeah, one of the ones Amazon that they bought in. Oh, I might have to check that out. I need to apologise. I don't really apologise much to Eddie on the show, um, but you kind of put us in our place when you spoke about. Yes, well, well, yeah. Oh my God! So have you, you been watching that? I watched it. I'm getting so into you that finally now. got yeah. on the So what's sure. changed in the last two weeks that just, makes you think... This, 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 you this, still this. don't like it? You, you literally are alone, Mo. You're literally just... I cannot be. I'm going to go on the internet on this evening. Right now. No, no, no. I cannot be. Because I was talking to a guy at work and we both we both actually felt the same. Yep. See, and you say I'm the, the unintelligent one? Uh, okay, look. This is the one that's got the world gripped. It, it, it just... The, the dimensions of the show just just change so dramatically. Yeah. It's it's almost as if it stopped lagging for me, and it's just shot it's off in lagging. different areas that I could not comprehend it. And I'm now really enjoying it. I really do like it, and it's it's nice to see characters that you. I think there was characters that I wanted to see. I wanted to see the, what, what happens to their backstories mm. and how it's fleshed out, like the architect. Yeah, yeah. I really wanted to know more about him and his relationship with his co-worker. Yeah, that was but, too deep. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know how they were going to bring it out, and they've done it in such a good way that so like, now that you're it. invested, yeah. Back to the Fury, which I don't think you really took on board last time when I mentioned it because you just weren't really. No, I was it. listening. Go. But about there being two timelines that this show is playing out on. Yep, yep. It does. What with the uh, the guy that's with looking the man for man in black. Yeah, but and see, the young guy William. Yeah. He's with Dolores. They're, yeah. They're actually the same person. And that's when he first came to the park and the man in black is what he ended up becoming. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I... See, you, you can actually tell there is some manipulation of time going on here, mm. especially with Dolores' character, because sometimes she's out in the middle of the desert and then the next scene she's talking to like the, the engineers and then the next scene she's back out in the desert. With Dolores, they have actually been consistent with keeping her separate from her. In, during that period that what? she's been with William, that she hasn't actually turned up again back at the. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, you can tell that there's obviously some yeah, manipulation yeah, because, it, like, it, some sometimes she's out there, sometimes she's back in. Bit, yeah, yeah exactly. Bit, yeah. And then and, she's back out. And another story that fascinates me is the the lady that's in charge of the brothel. Yeah, she's the one. She she's turns the, out to be the one, one and only interesting character in that show. Uh, she's uh, the one that's <laughs> looking to be the the one to start the revolution, most likely. Yeah, she's like they're powering her up, super, you know, adding in uh, yeah, different. Yeah, you see the intelligence and stuff. Yeah, 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 all that stuff. Yeah. Have some fun, boy. I've got to say, I'm, I'm back into it, man. Like, I didn't think it was going to happen so soon, but. Okay. okay. But what. See, this is a, even with let the most recent. Episodes, let him, the week, but we, let we the week have to hold it. So it's been seven episodes. And since like episode five, you you've known that that uh, the the chick who runs the whole place is shady as hell, and she's covering stuff up, and they're just drip feeding it to you. See, I don't think she's the ultimate one. I think it's Hopkins. He's the biggest one. Yes, to worry well, about. we all know Hopkins is alive, but we all know there's a mystery and with him. But we're Arnold. fucking dragging it out now. Yeah, yeah. Arnold. <laughs> Arnold. Sorry, not Hopkins. Arnold. Sorry, we all know Arnold is alive. No. I don't, nah, think no, I don't think he's alive. Either. I think he's a program. I think he yeah, uploaded yeah, yeah. himself into the system. That's what I reckon as well. You reckon? Yeah. And he's, he's virtual. Yeah. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. So we're going to see him either in the computer or in the body of one of the hosts. Or unless we find out if Anthony Hopkins is actually a, a droid as well. That would be a twist. That yeah. would be twist. I don't I think don't, so. I don't see that. So, look, I've got a weird question. Oh, that he like, is Arnold. If I, if, I, <laughs> if I killed you, Mo, right, would you... This is like the third week running you talk about killing me. I just want to tell me, tell me. Yeah, I think Mo. because, because we, 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 I think after Mo's, like, now he's told me he doesn't like the show, he can't get into it. I, I've got to push the question. Oh, well, hold on. I didn't say I didn't like the show. I said it's dragging. He's scared that he's coming too close <laughs> to home because he knows what he is. He doesn't want the world to think, so maybe... Maybe it's his cat. Because have you noticed his cats act really weird? It's like they. Yeah, but that's like that kind of abuse, as well. though. Like, that's you, sexual abuse, though. Yeah, right. but come on, man. We can't be like pretending these guys that Mo has sex with his cats. 
We can't write a nice podcast. We've alluded to it before. I think it's pretty obvious. Would I think they've always said so, okay, so basically, so here's I, my I, question. I, I don't like this I show, and you. now that you're accusing me of bestiality, I, no, I just this is the Trump <laughs> era. Have, look, so if you knew that me and Eddie were going to kill you, right? Would you upload yourself on a private server? No, I'd get out my goddamn baseball bat and I'd fucking smash you around the head. <laughs> <laughs> Use your arcade stick that you love so much. Okay, so that means so, no. Go on up for you then, you're loving Westworld. Yeah, I, I like it. I'm Good actually voice. really surprised. Wow. Ow, stop oh, hitting me hard. You mad. Ah! Yes. What happened to you? You're such a freaking horse now. Why? I've been, I haven't had much sleep. I've been awake to watch the UFC <laughs> event, so I'm really tired. So, hold on, there is one Connor thing McGregor. though. What, what, there was a little give, uh, throwaway line a couple of episodes ago that I don't think we discussed. So, it was, um, I can't remember the, in, the main engineer's name, where he was trying to speak to his wife through whatever system they use to speak over the phone lines or whatever. No, it's ex-wife. Yeah, his ex-wife. And he basically says, we can't get a good line out here. So, yeah, so where the hell are they? Can't make a phone call, but can have sex droids walking around. Yeah, but they, remember, they come on train. That's by, the, by train, don't they? So, so when you yeah, go somewhere by train, does that mean you no, can't speak to the, the other side of the world? But there's the a theory that we don't know whether it's on Earth or if it's on another moon. planet. Or, yeah, we just, they've been, um, yeah, secret about that. So we don't know. It could be somewhere, somewhere else. So I just thought that line was interesting. But instead, we get Mr. Narrative, who's depressed and drinking himself to death, pissing all over the place. See, he's the one I think is uh, Mr. Narrative. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah. Like, he's the narrative director. The, oh, the oh that, narrative. that guy, the English, yeah. guy, yeah. the English dude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's a bit of a dick, but yeah, we're going to see where that goes. It's, everything has a meaning, man. Come on. Does it? Show. Does it? That's what the just you, you just that's what the creators of Lost you basically it, no, tried to say. Just, everything has a meaning, and just, then none of it meant beyond. anything. It's just beyond your emotional grasp. It's okay. It's okay to stick with the anime. It's, it's trying to basically weave this tapestry of a story, right? And it's trying to like save this this sort of like time bomb for like right at the end. Yeah. But unless that sort of like payoff is actually worth it, it's going to be a pointless story. But that's with anything though, isn't it? It's like with any story, if the payoff is going to be pointless, then yeah. It just yeah, but they're up. building their entire season on that like one reveal, aren't they? Because they're at episode seven now. I reckon it'll be more. How long is it? This, it's not that long. It's for HBO, so 10, 13 episodes. I think it's going to be slightly short, isn't it? Or is it? So it could be over in the next two weeks. So, it could be. <laughs> oh, we'll guess we'll find out. But I'm bored. I've been on board from the beginning. Salem has finally come around. I have. Good. I knew what knew there was a reason. So he, he no hold on. So he's like one episode and you know him, he could watch it for two more and go, I'm never going <laughs> I'm never gonna watch that show ever again. That, that is actually very true as well. <laughs> that, that, that is possible. Is possible. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't normally agree. But he's on board for now. Yeah, yeah that's Good the enough. most important thing. Good enough. Yes. Do you care? Like you're not really a big Harry Potter guy, are you? I have booked my 3DX tickets for that show. Midnight screening, I have done it. You know, I was asking why we were friends. I'm actually starting to think that. Like, <laughs> You're at work. We're doing a show. You're at work. Where we, it would help us to talk and discuss and review these things. But you just You said don't review you... for body folks, so why are you going? I just thought I'd go check it out. Right. He's probably taking his No, because that's like a midnight uh, viewers only. His other. His other lady. Male friend. friend. <laughs> don't worry, I've booked our tickets for Star Wars though. You know what? I saw the trailer. I've been avoiding it for such a long time. Fantastic Beast. You ain't watched that yet. I have not had a I'm single sure piece of trailer when we were at the cinema yeah. for a few uh, things. It must have been. Yeah, 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 I think that's where I saw the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I thought that actually looks like could be an interesting movie. Yes. Yeah. Way yeah. like you watch a Harry Potter trailer. I had no interest. Set in the fifties. Got a cool yeah. little vibe. Yeah. Actually, it. does look. Hmm. Cool cast. Yeah. yeah. Well, originally it was set to be a, a trilogy. Warner Brothers loving it so much they've expanded it to five films. They have directors locked for every one of those films and it's gonna span nineteen years. Wait, how many books there are? are there's just one just the one novella. Book. It's not even a full I don't even think it's a full book. I'm not an expert at this, but she wrote so, like a short story. So I a think. novella is yeah, 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 like a short novel. Wow. Wow, that but, that, that yeah. is incredible. But she has apparently she's got enough story for five films. 
directors locked already. We don't know who they're going to be. Well, but... the thing is, like, by locking them, you're not really wasting any money. You know, there might be a small down payment or, or whatever. Could if, be, if, it's, doesn't, if it's not successful, they can cancel it any time. That's true, but there must be a story to tell if they can expand it from be what, a trilogy to fire. But the other side to it is that it must be good if them not all That's think cool. that, wait a minute, we need to create more of this. But we already know that the second film, Redmayne, who's the star of the first one, he's not going to be the star of the second film. It's going to be Johnny Depp. He's oh. already signed on. He's going to be the star of the second one. So what, so this is, is this a story about this particular guy that Redmayne's playing? It's looking yeah. like that way, yeah. yeah. And this character who we heard of in the Harry Potter films, one of um, Harry Potter's textbooks was written by mm -hmm. Newt Scamander, which, who this character is. So how Johnny Depp's one connects in and who he's playing, I'm not sure. Do, but we, do we know what his mission is? Is he just collecting, I take it? He, well, you see in the trailer, he has his bag full of these Fantastic Beasts and he gets open and he has to collect them up. It's basically Pokemon. Okay. It's a Pokemon movie. Right. <laughs> Transformers! The writer of the new Transformers has been hired to write the new Harley Quinn movie. So that's the standard we've got to expect. Hold on, which Transformers movie? The, I think she's one of the most recent ones, the female, right? Oh, damn. So hold on, so you're saying, so you, hold on, so you're telling me, right? You go out, you write a shit movie, and then you will get hired by a big studio to write they just, another shit movie. They just keep on keeping these people. It's like the guys, those two, the writing duo, the Orsi, I can't, the Orsi, I can't forget their names, but there was a duo that wrote all those shitty, they wrote the Transformer ones as well. And then they went on to write. They were gonna direct the friggin' Star Trek film, but they ended up kicking them off. So they ended up doing that one. But it's, it's, they keep on bringing these shit people back. Wait, isn't Margot Robbie one of the producers on this yeah. film, right? Yeah. So, but, uh, no, 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 that's fine. But it doesn't. Uh, they, so the script is already developed. Why are they just writing she it? She's writing it now. She wait. It's a female writer. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Like Wait, no. uh, okay. Well, Bye, Transformers rap. All right. We might be surprised. I think that sometimes we get so annoyed by this sort of stuff that we they just... don't care, Slalom. Just admit it. They just don't care well, about giving us good films. Well, just going off the back of this, so there was a story doing the rounds a couple of weeks ago. I don't think we actually spoke about it. So apparently, someone in the know has spoken to like Warner Brothers executives. About the about thirty different problems with the Batman script. Oh yeah. And their that, attitude that is, is it doesn't matter. This yeah. movie will make you know, money. Yeah. 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 So that seems wrong. to be the attitude at Warner Brothers. It's to be a shizzle script. As long as it makes money, we don't care if the film is shit on it. But it's just the first draft, so I've still got faith that Affleck can fix it up. You know, it's not there's no real scheduled date for it. He doesn't seem to be rushing into it or anything, so it's just a draft. So I have faith. I, yeah, I've got to believe with, with old Ben, if he's the main... Is, wait, is he directing it again? Yeah, oh. I think I officially announced yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so if he's directing it, he's starring in it, then I've got to believe that, you know, he should he get it wants, right, considering... He wants it to be a good film. Yeah, and he's a Batman fan, and, and his oh, directing geez. is really, really good. It's just worrying at all the moment. So, Ugh. what, I mean... Harley Quinn, right? Margot Robbie, she was she was good in the in the Suicide Squad. Yep. But an entire movie of her. Wasn't Harley that Quinn just and the Birds of Prey. And the Birds. So of it's Prey. a little female crew. But Harley Quinn is one of the most popular books now in DC. So there's plenty of stories there of just her and her own doing adventures. But if it's Birds of Prey, then we're not sure. It could be a combination of her and Poison Ivy, of Catwoman, of uh, there's a whole bunch, a whole bunch of the female characters, Batman yep. connected ones that. It could be with, but yeah, it'll be a little crew. So it could be fun. It basically be another suicide school, but with women. I'm actually the, the more I'm another thinking about this, school. Yeah. the more I'm thinking about this, the more I'm just being turned off of it. To be honest, it's a little worrying. It's a little yeah. worrying, but I don't know, man. But keeping with Transformers, apparently the Bumblebee spin-off movie script has been completed. I forgot even that this was happening. Why the hell will we want a Bumblebee movie? Who Who's asking for this? So hold on, so when they say it's a spin-off script, is this like Bumblebee goes to the beach for the day or something? Wait, the, Probably, the, Bumblebee falls in love. <laughs> well, the, let's not forget, Transformers is a billion dollar franchise. That sucks. Alright, that, okay, that sucks, but sucks. like Mo said, 
we don't care if the script is bad as long as it's going to make money. And that's the attitude and I can see why they want to bring it out. I, I know that if, if Mo was an executive producer or he had <laughs> ownership on certain properties, that would that would be his approach. Dear God. Yeah, you know, he would say, so I don't it's care. It's amazing. Every week you always say, that would be my approach. Yeah, I'm the one who's saying these are bad ideas. <laughs> no, I'm just, I, but you say I, that, but you know, I could see into the future, you see. It, uh, really? So when, yeah. we, oh, so when we were discussing yeah. Batman versus... Um, oh, so, Batman vs. Superman and you were all saying oh it's going to be so good Mo you're just being uh, like uh, a downer you know just wait till you watch it who got that one right I wasn't who well that? I wasn't well I have got it on recording I, I wasn't well I don't I wasn't well if I who, said that who was not excited about the Suicide Squad who liked Batman B- BBS <laughs> when we came out of the cinema the most out of the three of us it was you yeah. there's I that as well no. I, no I said the first one was good because I because we watched that as a double bill but you thought they, BBS was pretty yeah, good, didn't you, you? you were like jumping no, up like, and yeah, down, yeah, wanting so to buy us yeah. like the Batman Starbucks drink. We have like, a This is wicked, a, this is wicked. We did a review. Superman, Shall we go like, back and watch that review? Shall we? As we walked out the cinema. Yeah, we that Check show. it out on YouTube. Lou Besson has returned. French, I think French, France's premier filmmaker. I can't really think of any other it's, directors that are on the level of Lou Besson. Did um, The Professional. Leon, the professional, yeah, depending yeah, on yeah, what yeah. country you're in, did uh, Angela, one of my favorite ones that he's done. Taxi, Taxi, yeah, that was another cool one. He's done a bunch, Lucy, which half half of it was cool. See, we're not even mentioning like his biggest movie, Fifth Element. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> but oh, ironically, his new movie, Valerian, trailer dropped this week with Cara Delevingne. He's using everything now, man. That actress, um, Dana Dehan. It looked like Fifth Element too. Did you see it? Uh, I think I did. Some of it looked very stunning. Some of it looked very poor. It looked crap to me. There was, when I say some of it looked stunning, I mean like the special effects and the background. <laughs> it looks so much... The yeah. thing is, Fifth Element, like I said in my trailer reaction, Fifth Element came out in the mid-90s. Yeah, it was around that. And it still looks slightly more polished than that. It basically looks like a... A mid '90s movie. What this looks like? It looks like he's trying to recapture the Fifth Element, but with teenage stars. <laughs> it's just, it's, it just looks with a teenage love story thrown in. Yeah, I didn't like. This it. is like the Fifth Element if it was made for the CW. Yeah, yeah. I mean, did he, he did he write it as well? Uh, it's based on a comic book. Yeah, but he may have adapted it himself. But... Oh no, sorry, it's based on a graphic novel. Sorry. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm not impressed. Well, did you? It did not make me want to rush out and see no, it. <laughs> not at all. If I, I was going to say, if I did see it and I don't remember it, you'd remember seeing it. Man. It's pretty distinct from anything else that's been out this week. It's but but people have been going on raving about it, haven't Some they? Some people, like yeah. It. It's like this is the sci-fi movie that we deserve, or something like that, and it's just. No, it's it's he should stay away from making sci-fi movies because yeah. he's good at like the human stuff. Yes, and when he tries to do all of these special effects, that human stuff just goes out and plays second fiddle. He just has this style in the sci-fi yeah. stuff that just looks too uh, like look, it looks like a Muppet movie. It does. <laughs> it looks like a that, there's that bit where the where the where the main actress tries to lean over and kiss the heroine and she stops him and she points behind and you literally see all these oh, Muppets running down. Oh, yeah. It's just cliche <laughs> directing. Cli- oh, Luke, man. You're better than this. Seriously. Go and make another taxi sequel. We've only done five of them. <laughs> have, you, have you ever thought? Like, we've seen a couple of directors now that, you know, this, their previous work is absolutely amazing. Mm. But their new... The, some of the stuff that's coming out from their... their um, some of the stuff that's coming out now is pretty weak. Mm. And, and have you ever wondered, like, what exactly is going on there? Because these like, are like well, world-renowned, what, amazing directors that are just Tarantino yeah. says. He says like, you get to a certain point. That's why he wants to retire after I think three, two or three more films. So records, you get to a point, and then that's it. You just got you go to shit. I think Scorsese is one of the few who's bucking that trend. He still makes good films. Francis Ford Coppola. Yeah. yeah what's his name's uncle? Yeah, <laughs> one of the greatest directors, one of the greatest movie trilogy, well, a trilogy, the third one ain't as bad as everyone says, but yeah, amazing films. When he came back, oh God, one of the worst films ever. Like, how can you just fall from grace, from being a master? So that kind of lends, 
but it's, credence it's, to that. It's just crazy, the psychology behind it. Just trying to understand that, wait a minute, what exactly is it that makes them to a point where they're just no longer producing good content, good movies? Yeah, Ridley's wish was, you, give, you know, you never know what you're going to get with Ridley Scott. He's capable of still doing good films, but he just seems to not have good scripts to... Is it that, or, or do you just get to a point where you think, I've been in this industry for so long, I don't need to listen to anyone, I know it That's all. That's probably and, But Scorsese yeah. does still do it. And Spielberg, he still, you know, he, his films don't stand out as much as they used to, but no, people generally like BFG enough. He was, didn't set the world on fire, but he was entertaining for most people. BFG Lincoln, was you like Lincoln. Lincoln was good, and there was that other one that he did about the Russian spy. Yeah. Yeah, with, yeah. with Tom Hanks that, uh, was yeah. that was I really enjoyed that I suppose Tom Hanks um, what's his name uh, Spielberg is this, Spielberg is one of the directors that who's worked that I see now and even Peter Jackson and I'm oh no do you yeah, reckon not, I did not I'm disappointed with the Hobbits yeah I, I don't, really I, don't with nah, I, I don't have an issue with them but I'm just surprised with some of these other directors how the work that's coming out is really really poor and if you guys are saying that the trailer that you just recently saw is really bad then it just gets me thinking that mm. maybe I should take the spot if anyone's listening that wants to hire a oh, director oh, oh. oh. I'm gonna make your comeback it has been a while <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you really should dust off the director's chair, man. What's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I just a little, a little short film or something. Nah, it's too much money, man. It's money. Yeah, like, f- for free. No, oh. huge resources. Be creative. Can't be bothered. That's the truth, isn't it? You yeah. just can't be bothered. Yeah. You, I told you, you live this cushy lifestyle. You it's it. Yeah. Comfort. You can't be bothered. Comfort. There's no hunger. Mm. I have hunger, thank you very much, people. I'm not talking about f- go... apple pie. So, nice should we talk about the trailer that dropped today? Well, you two can. I haven't watched it yet. So, I want to be honest and give an honest trailer reaction. Just, just, you should have just watched it. I don't understand. Yeah. You two can please talk about it. Huh? Did it look good? Do you want to see it when it drops? I want to see you right now. I, I want to see the trailer again. I want to watch it every day for the rest of my life. It's that <laughs> good. fucking good. <laughs> it looks like... You know like how when we did a discussion a couple of weeks ago about what live action movies would you like to see? Yeah. And I said they all just look stupid when they're action yeah. films. They have captured like... what I've never seen the movie, right? But I'm looking at that and I'm like... That's if criminal. I go back and watch Ghost in the Shell now... I'm going to be disappointed. That is criminal. You have, I, I did watch the little teasers that were releasing. Yeah, there was yeah. one um, teaser that they showed that recreates a shot from the film, which is she's chasing down this dude and they're in this like vast little waste area and there's like water on the floor and she's like in an invisible suit thing. And it just looked just like it was in a car. You know, wow, really? It, well it is, it is uh, truly incredible. It's coming out in January. Is it? I thought it was March. No, I've got January on Cinewall's website. As soon as I saw it, I went to check it up and I was like, oh Really? Gosh. That's definitely not. But don't they say dropping like March thirty first or something? I would have thought March would be a better day for it. I would have thought that, but it's just even just the We're um, looking it up. Just We're the looking use of it up. It's the looking up song for looking it up. Who will get it first? Get the solo yeah, thirty first March, two thousand seventeen, UK. Right, okay, well I don't know what Cinewall's saying then. Maybe All right, Sweden. Get on that. Maybe that's a screen. And yes, I do want to be the one to, to go see that. Maybe okay, the okay, for the okay. anime. Let me tell you guys. Oh, I maybe will they do a back to back. The anime film. I right? don't think they would do that. Because they haven't shown anything on their website at the moment. Maybe that's what they're talking about in January. At the front door. Mm-hmm. Time in. Mm-hmm. So I'm off. Sister's at the door, but don't worry, we're done. I made Reese the first take. Asylum, body falls. Mo. We will be back on that. So guys, let us know. Give us feedback. Write us letters. We haven't had any letters this week, so we're gonna do a letter bag. We let them pile up. So we'll do the letter, the, uh, the, the what's it called? Mailbag. Mailbag. Next week. So Adios people. <clears throat>